Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. Now, there are many ways to build an online successful business, and there are a lot of platforms that offer services to make that process easier. Now, Shopify is an e-commerce platform for online stores, and while it's not perfect, my overall experience with them has been excellent. Now, if you're a new entrepreneur who wants to build a successful online business, today I'm going to show you how to build an online store and give you some potential tips for achieving success in the competitive online marketplace. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And by the way, if at any point throughout this video you want to give Shopify a try, you can benefit from a three day free trial as well as only pay $1 per month for the first three months by clicking the link in the description down below. All right, so let's go over how to build an online store. So start by creating an account on Shopify's website. And once you complete the basic store's information, you'll be able to access Shopify's dashboard, which is the central hub of managing all aspects of your online business. Now to make the online store look professional, choose a domain name that represents your brand and interest with your target audience. Now this will basically give your store an identity to help you stand out in the market. Now. To effectively manage your online store, you need to navigate the dashboard, which has different sections like orders, products, and analytics, each serving a different purpose. Okay, now, when adding products to the Shopify store, it's important to create a detailed listing of accurate descriptions and high quality images. That's super important. Remember that high quality images, because by optimizing your listings and providing a smooth shopping experience, you can increase customer satisfaction and encourage repeat purchases. Next, it's important to keep in mind that a visually appealing and user-friendly website is also key for attracting and retaining customers. So you can use the variety of themes that Shopify offers and pick the one that complements your brand and customize it to reflect your unique identity. Lastly, it's important to make sure that your website is mobile responsive as more and more customers are browsing and shopping on their phones. So I recommend testing the store on multiple mobile devices to make sure that it runs smoothly. And another thing to enhance the store's functionality is the Shopify App Store. Now this store offers a variety of apps and extensions that can help with different aspects of your store, such as search engine optimization, social media integration, and inventory management. But before installing any app, it's important to research its features and compatibility with your current setup to get the best results. All right, now once the store is up and running, and you made a few sales, it's important to keep a few things in mind. First, you need to collect data about preferences, pain points, and extractions of your target audience. And customer feedback is an excellent way to achieve this. You can gather feedback through customer surveys, product reviews, social media monitoring, live chat interactions, and website feedback forms. Now, having this data will help you understand the market to make informed decisions to boost your sales. Plus, it'll give you an idea of which product work and which don't so you can customize your inventory accordingly for an example let's say you sell um, tech products and after analyzing the date you realize that a certain brand has more demand than the others or that some marketing strategies work better than the others so this basically allows you to change well your strategies based on these trends and continue to grow sales and talking about marketing you can expand your reach by selling on different channels like social media marketplaces and physical pop-up shops. Okay, so as your business gains traction and experiences growth, it'll be helpful to explore strategies to scale your business effectively. Now, scaling involves expanding your operations, reaching a broader audience, and accommodating increased demand while maintaining the quality of products and services. And one thing you can do for this is to focus on operational efficiency. So consider automating responsive tasks, upgrading your inventory management system, and refining order fulfillment processing because a well-organized and streamlined backend allows you to focus more on growth opportunities, reduce manual errors, and enhance customer satisfaction. Next, diversifying your product catalog strategically can significantly impact your store's growth. So conduct thorough market research to identify trending products, assist customer demands, 
and explore potential niche expansion opportunities. Since by offering a broader range of products, you give customers more choices and attract a wider audience to your store. Now you can also consider expanding your business internationally to access a global customer base. So offer international shipping options and localize your store for different regions to provide a personalized experience to diverse markets. And as your customer base grows, investing in scalable customer support solutions becomes essential. So you can basically implement chatbots, live chat, or dedicated support team to handle inquiries promptly and maintain a high level of customer satisfaction. Satisfaction. And next, as traffic to your website increases, make sure that your website can handle the load. So evaluate your hosting plan and consider upgrading to a higher tier plan for dedicated servers to prevent a downtime and deliver a smooth shopping experience. Plus, having a reliable infrastructure will help in handling peak traffic during promotional events or seasonal sales. Lastly, I recommend integrating a variety of payment methods for customers to provide a seamless and inclusive shopping experience in your store. So by offering different payment options, you'll be able to increase conversion rates and reduce card abandonment. So it's best to offer the option to pay with credit slash debit cards, digital wallets, and even crypto. Now in offering multiple payment methods, it's important to make sure that the checkout process is user-friendly and clearly displays the available options because the more convenient it is for the customers, the more sales for your business. Now, it's important to note that building an online business is not an easy job. But if you follow the guide and use these tips to build a your Shopify store, then you'll be able to build a successful online business. All right, now you may be wondering, what is the cost of the service? Well, the trial period for Shopify is for three days. After that, you can choose one of the three plans. The basic plan starts only at $29 annually or $39 per month and provides two staff accounts along with basic reports for your business. Now the advanced plan is more and costs $299 annually. It will give you access to an advanced report builder and 15 staff accounts. Lastly, at $2,000, the plus plan is the most premium option and it provides you with a fully customizable checkout and gives you unlimited staff accounts. Now it also has the lowest transaction fees. So if you have a large business, then this will save you some money as well. So to wrap it up, the online market is very saturated and to succeed in such a competitive area, you will have to put in hard work and dedication into it. Now, there are many platforms out there that offer to host online stores, but in my experience, Shopify has the most versatile and reliable services. So I'd recommend it to anyone who wants to build a successful business from complete scratch. And that's it for today. Like and subscribe if you found today's video helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. And if you want to check Shopify for yourself, then you can use the link in the description down below to gain a three day free trial as well as only pay $1 per month for the first three months. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.